Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steve McCrawley, coming to you with another video. Today we got another Monotype Monday episode. So this week, I'm going to be rocking a Bug-type team. So let me go ahead and go over the team quickly. So we have Volcarona with uh, Fire EMZ, so it's going to be the Z-Crystal holder. It's got Quiver Dance, Fire Blast, Giga Drain, and Hidden Power Ground. Then we have Mega Pinsir with Sword Stance Return, Quick Attack, and Close Combat. Then we have Heracross uh, with the Choice Scarf, and it's got Mega Horn, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Earthquake. Then we have Choice Band Scissor with U-Turn, Bullet Punch, Super Power, and Knock Off. We have Galvantua with the Focus Sash with Thunder Wave, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, and Hidden Power Ice. And last but not least, we have Armaldo holding the leftovers, and he's got Stone Edge, X Scissor, Super Power, and Knock Off. So, not sure how this team will perform. I am not very experienced with Battle Spot singles. So, we shall hope for the best here. So, with Bug, I mean, it, it's really interesting building a monotype team because you kind of have to remember, you have nothing that will resist rock. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. So, I'm going to find his first opponent here with Tapu Lele, Aegislash, Baramosa, Dewblade, Mimikyu, and Naganadel. So, he's probably, it's probably going to be a... Oh, oh, he's got Aegislash and... I just realized he got both of them. I was going to say... It's probably going to be a... Eviolite. Uh, new Blade, though. He's got... 30 Pokemon weak... Well, not weak, but... Knockoff could be decent here. I do have to be careful of the Feromosa. But... Pinsir should be able to one-shot. Mega Pinsir should be able to one-shot with a quick attack. So... See, I don't have any ghost type moves in particular. Luckily, he doesn't, he doesn't really have any rock type moves either. Well, Corona could be good here with a few quiver dances set up. So, I think I want to go with. I want Pinsir in the back, and I want Volcarona. I think I'm going to go. I'm going to lead with Scissor. With Volcarona and Heracross. No, not Heracross, I'm sorry, Pinsir. This could it goes south really quickly, but I really need Volcarona to help deal with that Aegislash and Dewblade. And the Scissor will be able to help out with the or really take down the Feeny and the Mimikyu. And Feromosa shouldn't be a problem unless he reads it. Okay, he's gonna leave a Tapu Lele. So unfortunately we will not be able to go for a bullet punch here. But at the same time, I resist both of his stabs. He could have a coverage move on there, which would be fine. Uh, I could Earthquake, or, or excuse me, not Earthquake, Knock Off or U-Turn here. U-Turn is really tempting. I just don't know if I'd be able to... I probably will. Or U-Turn could help me uh, switch in whatever I want. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. And there's the. Okay, he's got Shadow Ball. We'll see what item he's holding. Alright, it's not even a two shot. And Terrain Extender. Interesting. Well, I mean, it, interesting, but. Uh, not interesting, because uh, he's got. A pretty decent, or I mean, the Feromosa. It's actually going to help out with the Feromosa. Because now I guess actually really bad. Yeah, I was going to say, probably just going to bring in Feromosa and sweep. So. Yeah, that's pretty much going to be it right there, I think. Nothing I really could have brought against Firamusa. Oh, 
Because I'm not going to be able to set up. Oh, he's gonna actually going to set up on his, by himself. Okay. This uh, this knockoff might actually... Oh, no, well, he, this, it's going to bring him down to a sash. But it's a special Fermo, so that means... Okay. So let's see, how many... Okay, so... Still got like another, what, five... Doesn't train extender extend it by three turns? Yikes. Imagine if I was at... Or, I mean, that would have done nothing to me normally. And is it, it going to be speed or... Sp okay, special attack. So he's already at plus two. Let's bring in Volcarona. See if we can make some magic happen. I guess I'm just going to go for Giga Drain here. Just so I don't miss a Fire Blast. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, if, he's, if that's the best he's got is Bug Buzz, it's not going to knock me out. And we pick up 5 HP. So interesting. I would have thought that it would be a physically offensive. Fairmosa. That actually was that had a, a nasty combo. Oh, actually, I have Hidden Power Ground for this thing, too. That would have been a nasty combo. Um, yeah, C move is not going to be very effective. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power Ground for the damage. And Sludge Wave. Another beast boost coming up. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if Pitcher, especially since you got that beast boost, I don't know if Pincer is going to be able to come out on top with this one. There's two turns of terrain left. I, mean, I have sword stance, but it's not going to matter. I'm going to be really embarrassed if this return does zero damage. He's supposed to, he supposedly can't be any happier, so... Fire Blast, and of course he connects. Oh, man. Stupid terrain. The stupid terrain. The terrain extender Tapu Lele. Putting in the work. Actually, I'm dumb. Oh no. Yes, I am. You know. I was going to say because uh, Heracross is. Uh, or Mega Pincer is flying, but that means that he wouldn't be affected by a priority moves. Not the other way around. The Ganadel? No, doesn't have le levitate. Alright. Gonna find our next opponent here with Tapu Koko, Haxorus, Gliscor, Feraligator, Primarina, and Metagross. So he's got two water types, two Pokemon that are weak to ice, two Pokemon that are weak to ground. I don't even think. Do I even have Earthquake on this team anywhere? Yeah, I have it on Heracross, and it's Scarfed, so it should outspeed Tapu Koko. I have HP Ice on Galvantula, which could be really good. So I'm thinking maybe this time I want to I want to lead Heracross to be able to deal with some of his uh, faster threats. And I definitely want Galvantula here. He's got two water types and then the HP ice on the Gliscor for Haxorus. I think maybe... It... Hmm. No, I think I want Volcarona. I don't know what I'm going to do about the Haxorus. 
But Volcarona could be really good against uh, a lot of his team, especially if I can get a, a, a Quiver Dance or two. And then the Z Fire Blast could come in handy as a backup for the Metagross, if not. I'll have no way of... Well, I guess my book... Well, I don't really have that many Bug-type moves, so... We'll see what we can get in this one. Alright, so he's going to lead with for Alligator. He might try and set up a D-Dance here. He also gets access to Aqua Jet. I think I'm just going to go straight up for the Mega Horn. Of course. I, I, I hate it. Unfortunate. Absolutely unfortunate. Because I would have just been able to two-shot this thing. Hit him up with another Mega Horn, I guess. Yeah. I want like if I went for close combat, it wouldn't matter because the defense drop would have knocked me out. So I needed the I needed that first Mega Horn to hit. Eighty-five percent accuracy. Never enough. All right, I think a Thunderbolt here is pretty safe. Huh. Actually, I guess I could go for Energy Ball. In case he bring, yeah, I'll go for Energy Ball. In case he decides to bring in the Gliscor, because then I'll get off the damage. Okay, he's just gonna stay in. So yeah, I guess if he has Tapu Koko now, I'm screwed big time. There it is. Now I don't have my cho choice scarf, Earthquake, to be able to knock it out. And I cannot Thunder Wave this thing. Um. So I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. He's gonna U-turn. Okay, I can actually. I have no problem with that, to be honest. I mean, at the same time, okay, so Gliscor is his last Mon. Just shucks I didn't go for uh, Energy Ball there. Oh, so maybe he just wanted to burn or, or to poison his Gliscor? I don't really know. Right, I'm going to hit him up with the HP Ice. Should two shot. He's probably going to go for Earthquake here. Or I guess he could try and poison me as well. Sword Stance, okay. So that did way too much. Yeah, even if he protects, he can't stay in here. So he's got to switch. Oh no, he's going to... Okay, he's going to let it go down. A pretty smart play, I guess, because uh, he doesn't really want Tapu Koko taking too much damage. The thing Tapu Koko is either going to get off a Dazzling Gleam, which doesn't do much, or a... Um, Oh, no, extra type move still isn't going to do that much damage either. I guess it will. But, okay, Nature's Madness. So, interesting set on this Tapu Koko. I think it is going to be his downfall. Look at that. Almost a two-shot. I was considering running Thunder on this set because I do have Compound Eyes. But... Let's see. Depend I guess if we got a low roll and we get a high roll here, we can knock it out. Nope. Alright, and Volcarona is my last Mon. Outside of terrain, Volcarona should be able to survive anything and knock out Tapu Koko. Yeah. So, an interest. I don't even know what this guy's running, what, what this guy's packing here with this Tapu Koko. Alright. So, unlucky at the beginning, but. I, this guy didn't, oh, I mean, this guy's team was interesting, too. I mean, he didn't really have any, I don't know why he didn't bring Metagross. I guess I do have all bugs, but 
uh, steel would would have been a really nice type to have. Because there's no way I'm going to have a bug type move on all my Pokemon. <sighs> Alright. Lesson learned. Do not lead Heracross. Unless you are sure he is going to lead. I mean, I was thinking he was going to lead Tapu Koko. Most people do. So. That's my excuse. We're going to go for one more. Let me change my music. To Necrozma. Alright, gonna find our last opponent here. With Mimikyu, Primarina, Blaziken, Gengar, Excadrill, and. Ch Chestnut? I think that's what it's called. I was, I, was thinking, I was thinking Chespin at first, but yeah, I think it's Chestnut. So. Pincer. or Mega Heracross. Mega Pincer, excuse me. Could be good here. Against his two. Um, you got two fighting types. Could be really good. Plus, I could have close combat for the Excadrill. The Gengar could be a bit of a problem. I guess. Uh, well, I guess he's weak to uh, ground type moves now as well. So let's see. I'm because Heracross could be good here as well with the uh, Earthquakes for Blaziken, Excadrill, and. Gengar, and then Volcar or excuse me, Pinsir could be good, or Scizor could be good to with the priority for the two fairy types he has. But then Primarina goes pretty unchecked. I might want to bring Galpanchoa to help deal with it. I'm gonna go Scizor, Pinsir. And Galvantula, I think. We'll see how it goes. We shall see how it goes. But the because the thing, Primarina isn't particularly good against bug types, but still could get off some nice uncontested damage. Except against Scizor. Okay, he's gonna lead with Excadrill. That's something I can live with. I don't have any fighting type moves. Well, actually, I have superpower. I could go for knockoff as well. If I think he's going to switch. Because I go for superpower and he switches into Gengar. Unf or, or the Mimikyu. That's unfortunate. But if I get the knockoff on either of those, it, it's going to one-shot the Gengar. I think I'm going to go with the knockoff just to be safe. I don't know what this Excadrill is going to be packing. Okay. Oh, so he's got Rock Slide. Okay. Holy cow. Okay, it was a crit. I was going to say, holy cow, that's a lot of damage. Heavy Scarf, too. I mean, wouldn't have mattered, really, unless he got the flinch. And the crit, I still would have two-shot, so... Oh, Blaziken. Alright. So, yeah, again, I have nothing that resists the old... This thing's probably going to sweep me. Oh, well, no, I... I'm just going to go for knockoff. Uh, I do have... Okay, so there's the Flare Blitz. It's going to take a lot of damage. Um, Mega Pinsir can just quick attack this thing and knock it out. Alright. Okay, so it's Life Orb too. Yeah, so that should definitely be in range for Mega Pinsir. I, uh, I guess I could have switched... No, no. no. I, could, I was going to say, I could have switched Galvantula there, but just because of the Focus Sash, but it wouldn't have done anything. Alright. Aerial 8, work your wonders. Work your magic. I'm, I'm really hope. I mean, it's Blaziken. Okay, it's Blaziken. And it's base 40, stab, Aerial 8 boosted. I don't know what the bonus is for Aerial 8, but I think it's like 30% now. Okay, good. Okay, good! Alright, what's his last mon gonna be? Please don't tell me Primarina or Mimikyu. Oh, come on. Oh, Galv uh, Galvantula still has a decent matchup here. Um, I, I don't think I'm very fast. Let me check my speed really quick. One oh, 172, actually. I'm... That's actually faster than Primarine, I think. 
Alright, I'm gonna hit him up with that return. Yeah. Please do damage. Alright, okay, so Z move. Alright, so it does knock me out. I am pincer after all, but the damage I got off was fine. Even if I got off a quick attack, I think that would have been enough. Galvantula is easily going to be able to outspeed this thing. Hit him with that thunderbolt, thunderbolt. And that should just be an easy knockout. So, yeah, I guess... I, it wouldn't have mattered if I let Scizor or... Or if I switched in Galvantula to go down instead of Scizor. Should have worked out exactly the same. Because Scizor could have come in and cleaned up on this thing as well. But yeah, the... Uh, it would have been interesting to see how it would have turned out if... He connected Rock Slide. Well, I mean, because there were a lot of ways that could have gone. He could have connected Rock Slide and got the flinch. He could have connected Rock Slide and not got the flinch. But since it was a crit, the... Knockoff should have been enough damage to... One-shot him, or to two-shot him at the very least. So he would have needed at least one flinch to have a chance of knocking out Scizor. And I still think I could have played better, or won, because even if Scizor was at 1 HP, and he sent... Oh, we're going to do one more, just because that one was quick. Because even if Scizor was at 1 HP, I could have just switched in Galvantula. Galvantula would have taken the Flare Blitz. He still would have taken just as much recoil, and then I could have brought in Pincer and done the same thing. And then against the Primarine, I could have just gone for a, a Bullet Punch. So, next opponent, Garchomp, Celesteela, Porygon 2, Gengar, Charizard, and Mimikyu. So, Galvantula looking really spicy in this one. So is Scizor. Oh, uh, I guess Armaldo is too. Because we do have... Uh, Armaldo's looking pretty spicy here. Because we do have knockoff on Armaldo as well. Because no knockoff will deal insane damage, uh, will help with the Porygon to get rid of its Evo Light and deal pretty nice damage to the Gengar. I guess he could be Mega Gengar as well as Mega Charizard. Galvantula looking good. I think Armaldo is going to be coming with us this time. And let's see. Yeah, apart from Hidden Power Ice, I don't have a we really have a way of dealing with the uh, Garchomp. So, so Galvanish will help with Garchomp and Celesteela, and even the Charizard. I think I want Scizor. Ah, Heracross could be good, though. I'm going to lead Galvantula with Heracross, Armaldo in the back. Just because uh, Scizor is banded, but Heracross is Scarf, and it'll have the stab, uh, 120 base power, fighting type move. So... Uh, it'll be doing dealing like just as much damage with the uh, band. It's like it's just like stab, but uh, at least Heracross will be going first. Okay, so he's gonna be Garchomp. So this is definitely a good lead. Definitely the Pokemon I want to have into this Garchomp. Let's see, I'm not sure who's faster, Gal Galvantula or Garchomp. 176. That's I think that's pretty close. He could be Scarfed. I'm gonna hit him up with that Hidden Power. Probably gonna have Rock Slide. Yeah. He's gonna get the flinch. I'm calling it now. Nope. Okay. Never mind. All right. And yeah, I don't have any priority, so that's gonna be an issue. But yeah, Scarf Garchomp really strong in singles. Not much you can do about Scarfed Pokemon in singles. It's a lot easier to deal with them in doubles. Because they can't protect, you can always double target them. But yes, yeah, the thing. The, uh, the old... Uh, and of course, no... Oh, I mean, I guess I can't complain. It's like 90% accurate or whatever, and I got one out of three misses, so that's about right. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and bring in Armaldo. I was thinking maybe Heracross, but I still think... If he's Scarfed, he'll still outspeed me. At least Armaldo will be able to take it. Um, I'm going to hit him up with the X Scissor. I don't want to reveal the knockoff.
and X is her, okay. Alright, alright. We got him. You're gonna get a bit of leftovers recovery at the end of this turn. Let's see what he has. I mean, that's a big knockout. Definitely a scarf. To go. Okay, Celestila. I guarantee you he's gonna leech seed. Oh, I guess Heavy Slam will do the trick as well. No need. I guess no need to leech seed. Hopefully, I don't know who's gonna be slower. Okay, we do get off the knockoff. We have no Galvantula to deal. I guess uh, Volcarona might have been a better pick something better to bring here to help deal with this. Special defense boost. Okay, we do have Heracross, but we have to lock ourselves into something and it cannot be Earthquake. Yeah, maybe... Yeah, I guess, maybe... Instead of Heracross, I could have brought the Volcarona. Because it would have been dealing like just as much, or the decent amount of damage as well. Do I want to go for Stone Edge or Close Combat? I'm going to go for Close Combat, and if I survive a Heavy Slam, I, I, two should be enough. Yeah. And then depending on what he has in the... Well, I guess... No, that was actually a bad choice. I, it doesn't matter, though. Okay, he's got... Look at that. So I'm dead anyways. But, because even if he has, or if he has Gengar or Mimikyu in the back, then I will lose. So, yeah, maybe, I guess Volcarona probably would have been, kind of looking at his team a little bit more. I just kind of got greedy for the, the Earthquake there to deal with the, or the Earthquake and the Close Combat to deal with his, uh, Gengar and Mimikyu, and I guess not Gengar, Mimikyu, Gengar and Porygon too, and I guess Volcarona could have done a decent job with that as well. Yeah, the, the I I don't even know if that Garchomp was scarfed. It, to be completely honest, I'm pretty sure it was. I forget that Scarf Garchomp is super OP and common in uh, singles, but it's gonna be. I think we had four battles this time. They were a little bit fast. They were a lot faster pace, so not much I can do about that. That's gonna be it. This bug last time was what? Poi? I don't even remember. But this one was bug. Last time was flying. And that's gonna be it. So hope you guys enjoyed. We got a few more battles in this time around, a lot quicker because we don't have we didn't have the stalling Celesteel like we did last time. So that's gonna be it. So if you guys got any suggestions for me for teams I should use next time, or if you want to battle me, feel free to let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.